Last time on the Group Hardcore Iron Man series, Curtis got the Thieving Pet from Pyramid Plunder. I did the Guardians of the Rift quest, as well as Land of the Goblins, which means I got my quest cape back. And the Formers did some Bandos, and got Bandos Hilt number 3, which is going to be really nice for specking down Corp. Now, normally I start these videos with some personal highlights, and then I get into the group content, but I'm going to switch that up a little bit in this one, just because I have some group content highlights that I really, really want to show you. Now, of course, recently, as you noticed, Curtis has rejoined us. He's all done with leagues. And because of that, we decided to go do some Armadil. Uh, when Paul, Roydy, and I do God Wars together, we tend to just do Bandos. So, because, well, Curtis has by far the highest range level out of all of us, and he has Rigor. So, realistically, doing Armadil without him would be silly. So, now that he's back, we figured, why not see if we can get some more Armadil armor? If anybody needs any uh, peach tabs, I got them. Yeah, I guess we could start spreading yeah, those up. <laughs> I love when Curtis. Uh, it love kills when... me to hear Denise's laugh. In the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love I when Curtis unmutes and she just sneaks <laughs> in a laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Good time. It's always hard to speak on this laugh. I'm not gonna laugh. I'm getting bopped over here. I'm getting bopped over here. Damn, Jordan, you're getting hit over there. That's what I was saying. Getting smacked around. Dude went straight up Will Smith on you. Oh, my. <laughs> my chat's been talking about that, of course. Keep my minion's name out your goddamn <laughs> mouth. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's too soon. Too good though. Yeah, I actually woke up to that. I was like, no. That's what yes. we did. Well, nice. Look a street. Oh. Oh. I'll just hey. trade that straight to me. I'll tell you that. Nice. I, I'm. I was too busy watching Homer Simpson swing a sword. <laughs> cool. A crystallian key. Oh, no, from the oh, minion! Yes. From, the, from minion. the minion? Oh, no way! Oh, that looks ridiculous Let's on the ground. Go, dude. Oh, you no don't way. know even how nice that looks. Come on. Oh, that's Put sick. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's kitted that's out. Oh, we awesome. are plowing. <laughs> Finally got the minion drop. Oh, that was so weird awesome. though. I was thinking that I was like, at this rate we're gonna see actually no, I said it on my stream. I said, at this rate we're gonna see a chain skirt from the minion, like a kill before. What I'm not forgetting. Oh, no oh, we got a chain skirt from the minion. Sick. Jordan, That's make sure sick. you note that for your video. Oh yeah. So you can get that call. <laughs> Definitely. Oh yes. It's actually the one minion drop I've ever received before, I think was a chain skirt off that same minion. I think I did too on on my on sub to mammal. I I don't know if it was a chest plate or a skirt, but I got something of a minion too. Oh, there's level eighty seven range. Of all the places to level up range, I would say uh, mid Kriara trip is pretty cool. I actually haven't leveled up range in a long time because I haven't been getting a whole lot of uh, lizard man shaman tasks. So good to get a range level. Hey, and it was my kill as well. All right. We're going to expand on that. Smooth or crunchy peanut butter? Generally There's only one answer to this. Smooth. I don't I... have an aversion to crunchy, but I prefer smooth. I think crunchy tastes better, but smooth has its obvious benefits, like of ease of spreading. But I actually think crunchy does taste better. Yeah, I'd say smooth just because... If you want a crunchy, you just, you know, buy a packet of nuts anyway and just eat those. If you want <laughs> that texture. It's not peanut butter at that point. Exactly, it's just nuts. It's just However, whatever. orange juice, pulp or no pulp? High pulp. That was my next one. Oh, High, the, You oh. know, toss an orange in a blender, pulse it for like three seconds, and then serve it. Wait. Yeah, fresh is the best. Wait, wait gonna, one you go on holiday as well. Do you take the, the peel off juice. first? I don't no. even care, man. Just give me all the <laughs> Just Either way, just send it. I want to chew my orange juice, man. Oh, that's so gross. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Which is mega. Oh, okay. I think that's another oh, blade. That's, maybe. That is, yeah. Beautiful. So wait, how many, how many blades do we have in total now? Like, we have a bunch. Oh, it's got to be six or seven. Six or seven. Oh, Jesus. sweet. Uh, 
I'll grab that shard of it. Yeah, cheers. That means every hilt can have a home, actually, Yay. except for maybe one or two of the Zami ones. Oh, yeah, it's a trade armor, don't we, Jordan? You need to I look mean, like an absolute shad. We well, don't I mean, need to, damage? but I guess we'll be <laughs> kitted out in the full guthics now. Oh, oh, what a scam! And the boots as well. <laughs> oh, did I not give you the skirt? <laughs> no, you did not. <laughs> <laughs> the worst trade deal of all time. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. Uh, I did just sip a brew, so I don't know if you're planning on restoring, but... Uh, no, I'm actually planning on keeping you down on your range level because it gives me a better chance of getting the loot in my name. That makes perfect sense to me, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, my clips you. in your video now. <laughs> we were we were discussing how I this is kind of weird, but um, we very rarely purchase even in the summer. We we never buy hot dog buns, and so we'll have hot dogs and brats and stuff, and I just put them in a piece of bread, and I argue that if it's good bread, like tasty bread, then it's better than a hot dog bun. It's I not find a lot of hot dog buns to be a little too narrow for my taste. You got to really wedge them in there. Need some wide. It's not about the um, the taste of the bun. It's about its functionality and the ability to hold such a girthy product. By the way, I'm brewing. That is fair. It, I mean, it it is designed for what you're putting in it. I can't argue that. Plus, I mean, there's nothing quite like getting like two thick cheeks, uh, or I'm sorry. Um, Buns on like just one on either side. Oh my god! <laughs> Neglected to consider the Coriolis effect. I'm I'm not impressed. The the guy the, the guy in my chat. Yeah, yeah. Aurora Borealis. Hey, Yo, oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. That, that took me by surprise. There. Things you love to see. The farmers are eating. It. Yeah. Armadil skirt number two. Pretty sure that's our first boss armor piece <laughs> since uh, what was it? Foe seven kill count one. Oh no, the hilt. I, in a minute. The hilt yeah, was number two. But the hilt we, wasn't we had too a piece long. Of, after. Like aside from the hilt. Yeah, so it was like a seven kc chest plate, and then no boss armor pieces since then. So we're probably at like what two fifty plus. Yeah, yeah, something that's like crazy. that. Okay. Chaps and chest are okay, but dehyde top with chain skirt makes you look like such a weenie. Yeah, it, it's, yeah not it's a good, not a good look. <laughs> Is there anywhere in the world that you just would not want to visit? Period. Um, probably Syria. Yeah, hmm. yeah. There, there probably would be a lot of countries I'd be a little bit afraid to visit. I'd be happy to go to the Middle East, depending on the area. They can be a very warm people to visitors. Definitely. Yeah, I think most. South American countries scare the shit out of me, though. Yeah. One second you're having a margarita, next thing you know you're working on a cocaine factory. I I, I don't know. Yeah, I could just see you getting, like, abducted or something. <laughs> You've watched too much Narcos, my dude. <laughs> I probably... <laughs> Pick somebody else's papaya and they cut your head off. <laughs> exactly, that's what I'm saying. On the topic of visiting, like, countries you would want to see and not see, this is probably my, uh, American brainwash, brain talking, but I picture visiting Japan as being, like, super cool and, like, anime and, like, colorful, and then visiting China as, like, smog and death. <laughs> like, that's, I just can't picture it any other way. I, actually, I think you kind of got it right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that is all for the Armadil content. So we did two trips on back-to-back -back days, and we got two Armadil skirts and two God Sword Shard 3s, which gave us two more blades. So Criara was very kind to us. Oh, baby, at long last, we are finally finishing up all of our raw anglerfish. You guys might not even remember, and I hopefully actually put it in a video, but yeah, there was a few episodes back where Curtis gave me uh, a whole bunch of raw anglerfish to cook, and at long last, it is finally done. Uh, I, get, I did get up all the way to level 96 cooking, which is pretty dope, and now we have 11,730 anglers. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put 11k of those in the group storage, because obviously I'm not going to use nearly that many, so... Damn, dude, look at how much food we have. <laughs> 31k Carambons, 26k Anglerfish. That is so good.
Well, as you guys saw last episode, I got level 65 runecrafting from the new runecrafting minigame, and that was a requirement for the Ardune Hard Diaries. Now, the only Ardune Hard Diary left I have to do is get my thieving up. So, I headed off to do some Pyramid Plunder. Well, for now, I want to get to 67. Because at 67, I can boost up and do the, uh... Nah! Nah! <laughs> what? <laughs> Woo! What? What? Wait, wait, wait. Bro, I have 351,000 thieving XP. Are you joking me? <laughs> well, I don't have my Camtasia recorder open, so, uh... I'm gonna need to use the Twitch clip on this one. That's insane! I have, like, no thieving XP, dude. That's crazy. I actually, this is probably like my third favorite skilling pet behind, uh... I'd say the farming pet and the runecrafting pet are, are preferable to me, but this is, this is probably number three. He's a little cutie. Well, I feel like I did this not too long ago with, uh, Scotizo, but let's go ahead and ensure the thieving pet for 500k. And the nice thing about the thieving pet is, is you can change the way it looks. I'm gonna use a red berry on it to make it into a little... Red Panda, which is so cute. Look at him. Reminds me of the that Seeing Red movie, the new Disney one. Anyway, well, that's incredibly undeserved, but I like it. He's cute. Alright, there is level 67 thieving. That might seem like a bit of a random number, but from there, I can get a plus 5 boost up to 72, which is what is required for the Ardoon Hard Diaries. So, hopefully, spicy stews will be kind to me, and we can go knock those out. Oh, how much does one of these bad boys cost, anyway? 750k! Oh my god. That's highway robbery, Siegfried Urkel. Okay, gonna knock out a couple of diary steps here. So, on the West Ardune Anvil, I need to make a Mithril play body. And then I also need to make a Dragon Square Shield. You know, I've been meaning to make one of these for quite a while anyway. Uh, Dragon Square Shields are not the worst thing to wear while ranging these days. Uh, they updated it so that Square Shields don't give any negative range attack bonus, so they're not a bad tank shield to wear while ranging, I guess. I would say that I typically have pretty good luck boosting my stats using Spicy Stews, but that particular day, it was just not happening. I think I did about 40 or 50 Stews... And I just got sick of it. Okay, well, there is another set of yellow spices down, and still no boost. You know, the rest of the Horde Achievement Diaries are gonna need me to get level 70 thieving, and then boost up to 75 anyway, so... I think I'm probably gonna stop trying to boost for 72, and just get level 70, because I need to get it for other Achievement Diaries anyway. And then we'll be back. Okay, this should be the last urn, and I will be level 70. Okay, that wasn't the last urn, and it's also thieving, not agility, but... <laughs> Alright, there's level 70. Now, I have got some boosting to do. Got the plus 4 boost, so plenty of time. And there we go. That is the Ardune Hard Diaries completed. You know, I gotta say, I actually think the Ardune Cloak 2 looks a lot better than the Ardune Cloak 3. Personally. Just think the, the Cloak 2 has got a lot better of a, a color scheme, but... Alright, put the lamp on Herblore. I don't actually know... Oh, that got me a level. I don't actually know what exactly the difference is. I think the Ardune Cloak 3 maybe has unlimited farm tellies? Maybe? If so, that's pretty good. Nope, it's five tellies a day, which is still plenty. So, now that I got my thieving up to level 70, there were two more hard diaries I had in mind that needed me to boost up to level 75 thieving. That was the Western Province, in which I had to pickpocket an elf, and then also the Fremnik, in which I had to steal from a gem stall. Now, ideally, best case scenario, I'm gonna try to get this plus 5 boost up to 75 and do both of them in one shot. Okay, I got my plus 5 thieving boost. We're gonna try really, really hard to get both of these done in one shot. Okay, pickpocket. Of course I fail, I would. Fuck. That's gonna throw this out the window. Please don't fail again. Okay, well now I'm not gonna be able to hop to keep it, I don't think, but... 
Okay, I'll try hopping quickly. I don't know if I'm gonna save it or not, though. Okay, I gotta go to Keldegrim now. Okay, now I gotta make sure the guard doesn't fuck with me here. Because I've had that issue on previous accounts where the guard fucks me up. But not this time, baby! Oh, that's a big relief. Okay, so we got both of the things requiring 75 thieving done in one shot. Oh, thank God. Okay, so the last step of the Fremnik Hard Diary is a little weird. It says, obtain the Blast Furnace Foreman's permission to use the Blast Furnace for free. Do I literally just talk to him? And, like, ask? You're here to help with the Blast Furnace, aren't you? Uh, can I use the blast- can I use the furnace to smelt ore? You can, although you need to find people to work it for you. I have level 60. Yeah? Feel free to use the fur- okay, cool. That's kind of a weird step, but, uh, yeah. There's the Fremnik Hard Diaries. Okay, and the very last hard achievement diary that I can do is the Western Province Diaries. And you already know, Western Province Diaries means you gotta kill some chompies. I think I'm at, like, 130 chompies right now, and I need to get to 300, so that- Probably gonna be like a good hour and a half, something like that, so. I am gonna, uh, bank the chompy meat, though, for, uh, wild pies. Alright, there it is, the very last chompy. Let me, uh, kill this thing real quick. I banked about a hundred raw chompy in the process, so that'll be some wild pies. And there is 300 chompy kills, so let's go, uh, claim that reward. Okay, Mr. Elder Gnome Child, I have completed the Western Province Hard Diaries. Thank you, my man. So, a couple of big, uh... uh uh, rewards, sorry, from this one. One, I can now wield a full elite void. Don't know when I'm gonna do that, but eventually. And another thing is, I can also go get a crystal halberd now. I gotta say, trying to locate where you buy a crystal halberd after you have Priftiness unlocked is very confusing, but Isloin is the person I want, and there is a crystal halberd. Can use that bad boy to uh, spec during our corp sessions. Well, I haven't been back here in a while, but I am going to do a little bit of Nightmare Zone real quick. Uh, we now officially all have our very own Rings of Suffering, so that means I've got the go-ahead to imbue mine. So, gonna do a little Nightmare Zone quick, get some points, and then I'll have a Ring of Suffering imbued. Yep, that's my cue to leave. Uh, <laughs> I got about 100,000 more points than I need, just, uh, you know, some extras to buy some Scrolls of Redirection. And I don't feel like dealing with Camel, so, yeah, time to go. Okay, as far as I know, this should be the last thing I need to imbue from Nightmare Zone. There is the Ring of Suffering imbued. Now we're tanky. And on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video. Thank you all very much for watching. So the farmer's got not one, but two pairs of armadillo skirts on this one, so that's really nice. And I got myself the, uh, the thieving pet. Got some hard achievement diaries done as well. Just overall a pretty productive video. If you guys did enjoy it, feel free to leave a like. And I will see you all soon.